Hello, welcome to Switched On, my name's Paul, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing Shakedown Hawaii, which comes from V-Blank Software on the Nintendo Switch. And if you want more honest reviews of Nintendo Switch games, big and small, much like this one, then why don't you hit that subscribe button below? It'd be really appreciated. But until then, let's crack on with the review. So Shakedown Hawaii tells the tale of an aging CEO of feeble multinational a company which is going down the drain due to his dinosaur-like business practices such as continuing to rent VHS videotapes because streaming is a fad. Over the course of 120 or so missions, the CEO enlists the help of various advisors and tries to bring his business kicking and screaming into the modern age and in doing so, the game pokes fun at modern pop culture with everything from clickbait, superfoods, online streaming, loot boxes basically you name it, it's put up on the big screen and shamed. During the story, you also spend some time controlling the CEO's son, who still lives at home and plays video games all day, but he also starts to become involved in gang warfare and other shady practices. The story often alternates back and forth between the two intersecting characters, which sometimes works, but sometimes will break the flow of the story to the point you can't remember where you were with the other one. The final character is a South American fixer who takes care of business when called upon both north and south of the border. Their gameplay is very much the same as the original old school Grand Theft Auto games. Shakedown is actually a sequel to Retro City Rampage if you've heard of that, and where that game was a play on Liberty City, Hawaii is very much the Vice City equivalent with its neon colours and a more sunnier disposition. Running and driving around from a top-down view, you can pretty much go anywhere and do anything on the Hawaiian island, and most buildings can be entered and act as either shops to buy new gear, houses to rob, or businesses to shake down and take over. Driving is a bit twitchy, but generally feels good, and gunplay is fantastic as you use the right stick to shoot in any direction, meaning the game becomes a little more of a twin-stick shooter at times. Actually, the more shooty bits of the story in the fields and farms of South America in particular are really fun. Action sequences are interspersed on a regular basis with cutscenes that mainly involve a phone call to one of your business associates. And through short bits of dialogue, a mission will be agreed upon and placed on the map for you to travel to and complete. Most missions will involve you improving your business portfolio in some way, either by adding new businesses under your umbrella or upgrading the ones you had. Whilst initially this seemed like a really exciting addition, ultimately it felt like following a set of predetermined button prompts as you're often told what to buy and when. You do have free reign to manage the business side of things between missions, but I felt it was all a little bit pointless as I never needed the money and couldn't see the point in wasting my time navigating the menus for the sake of a couple of dollars added to my already burgeoning millions. I really think this could have been expanded on and become either some sort of area control game where you compete with your rival CEO in the game to control the largest area of Hawaii or even just a straight money fight. And like I say, it all feels a little bit of an unnecessary distraction. Graphically, Shakedown is really stunning. From the humorous detailed pixel art characters and the nicely detailed vehicles to the background scenery in the world which really feels alive you get a real appreciation of just why this game took so long to make when you see how smooth the animations are and there must be thousands upon thousands of unique frames of animation throughout the game. It was always pretty clear to see what was going on even when things got hectic and the game never struggles to keep up anything but a rock solid performance. It's a shame that the sound doesn't quite hit the heights of the graphics but there is a nice variety including the now standard radio function of these open world style games when in a car, allowing you to switch between a few different genres of tunes. There is obviously no licensed music or anything like that, but there are different genres of chip tunes and they can start to feel a little bit repetitive during your playthrough, but generally the sound of music is a decent accompaniment to the action that's on the screen. Overall, Shakedown Hawaii is another excellent game for the Switch library, really capturing the open world feel and it also has that business strategy game tacked onto the side which is okay for short distractions but ultimately never really lived up to its early promise. As a straight up action game in the guise of Grand Theft Auto though there's a lot to enjoy here. There are plenty of secrets dotted around to find and there's little arcade challenge missions that you can do in the story and these are a welcome break from the drive here do this style of the story missions. 
Minor niggles aside, it's a fun game and it looks and runs great and you can just feel that it was an absolute labour of love from start to finish. With all that in mind, I'm going to give Shakedown Hawaii on the Nintendo Switch a really solid 8 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching the review and remember if you did enjoy that, please do consider subscribing below and if you're already a subscriber, give me a thumbs up on the video, that would be really appreciated. And leave me a comment below if you have any questions about this game, I'd be happy to help you out or just be interested to hear if you pick it up and what you think about it. But until then, I shall catch you on the next video. And remember guys, stay switched on.